Karen Vargas, Nevada Department of Wildlife, Aquatic Invasive Species Specialist. The Nevada Department of Wildlife is, is very concerned about lake mead and the quaggy infestation that they have here. Um, what we would like to see is a coordinated effort with the National Park Service and our department for an inspection program for boats leaving the lake. The, this has impacted, the infestation has impacted other states. We are concerned that our other waters, our popular fishing areas may be impacted in the future and we are trying to prevent that. We have, uh, I think it's a, a three-fold type, type mechanism that we need to implement, which would include education, coordination, and authority to do those inspections. Currently, the Nevada State Legislature is reviewing a bill that would give NDOW the ability to implement a sticker fee that would pay for inspections at our most popular boating areas. We're concerned with the boaters, with anglers, the decontamination of equipment, and education of the public. We had to have authority though, legal authority to inspect those boats and that's part of what the legislation is currently looking at. So it would be a sticker fee and also authority to do those inspections. The last component of this is uh, education, the educational component. We have to reach the public, we have to reach the boaters, we have to reach the anglers and let them know of the damage that this will cause in the future if we don't prevent the spread of quaggy mussels into our most popular waters. Whether it's northern Nevada or southern Nevada, we are very concerned and want to prevent the spread of those mussels in those areas. If the legislation goes through, the Department of Wildlife would like to see inspection stations set up at Lake Mead in a co coordinated effort with the National Park Service. The other areas we would like to see inspection stations set up would be our high-risk waters throughout the state. We have three or four reservoirs right now that have high boater usage, have a lot of boats coming across state borders, and we would like to see inspection stations set up on those. Those inspection stations, if the sticker fee goes through, there would be no charge for those inspection stations. That people would pay a one-time annual fee to support the program and the inspection stations. The other thing we would like to do at our lower risk waters, which we have plenty of and even in our streams, is we would like to see a program set up with signage and kiosks that describe the clean, inspect, clean, drain, and dry mechanism and educate the public through that directly. Uh, we would also be uh, distributing brochures with the voter registration and at uh, various facilities, marinas, boat ramps, etc. Quagga mussels are, are currently Nevada, one of Nevada's biggest threats because of the economic damage they do, the damage that they cause to our fisheries, our wildlife, and our water supply intakes. So quaggy, quagga mussels that currently would be our number one priority and other aquatic invasive species are also a concern, but less of a priority. Endow currently participates in monitoring, I believe it's seven, seven or eight lakes around the state. We monitor for quagga mussels and, uh, and we do that across the state. Um, we send those to a lab for analysis. So far, none of our waters have tested positive for those. We will continue that monitoring effort uh, in peak seasons, especially during the summer months when the quagga mussels are reproducing. And that effort will be continued. We have not talked about the coordination effort that this is gonna take. If you take Lake Mead, for example, we have two states, we have the state of Arizona, the state of Nevada, we have National Park Service, we have Bureau of Reclamation, we have Department of Wildlife, plus the marine operators. That's almost typical of every lake in Nevada. The coordinated effort is going to take to eradicate and prevent the spread of quagga mussels throughout the state. It's imperative that we coordinate 
with all these different agencies and have a statewide management plan be developed and also action plans to if another area does get infested, what, how we will respond to that, that infestation. It's not one agency who's responsible for this. It's going to be a mass of different agencies that have to, have to come up with solutions and how we're going to address this if it continues and it, and it spreads. Well, I think that the decontamination at a, at a National Park Service where you have marine operators also, also involved in it, that, those type of mechanisms would have to be worked out in the future. Uh, I don't, the inspections would be free. The decontamination, I don't know at this point if those would be free or not. Probably at certain areas of the state, there would be no charge for decontamination. In an area like Mead where, where they have 3,000 boats a day, I'm unsure. Well, in Nevada, since we have quagga mussels at Lake Mead, we're very interested in the coordinated effort of working with various agencies to bring together action plans to uh, prevent the spread of quagga mussels throughout, throughout Nevada and the introduction to other states. To do that, however, is going to take the coordinated effort of various agencies, local government, uh, county governments, uh, cities, and irrigation districts. There are so many people involved with our water supply systems that it has to be a coordinated effort, agreed upon coordinated effort, to prevent the spread of quagga mussels throughout Nevada into our pristine lakes and reservoirs and streams.